I hope this isn't too dark, but I had the living room light on and it's like immensely annoying now because it's, uh, they were the yellow lights when we moved in, like the, just the soft white light bulbs and I can't stand that. So I put all three daylight bulbs in there and now it's just super bright and glaring if I try to film here. So hopefully this isn't too dark because it looks okay because my computer screen is on, but it's early in the morning. I tried to get Eden to get on his morning meeting, but he's not feeling good today. He woke up and he was throwing up. So he gets like that every now and then. And I think it's a case of like swallowing too much post-nasal drip in his sleep because it's always clear when he throws up like that. He wakes up in the morning and he's like, I don't feel good. And then he throws up a few times and like takes a nap and then he feels better so he's taking a nap right now um <clears throat> I don't know if you would call it taking a nap or going back to bed because he was only up for a little bit but yeah I tried to get him on his morning meeting because this school is a pain in the ass when you try to uh have an absence or anything report an absence I guess they figure you're at home you shouldn't be calling out at all but uh that's what I'm doing now is I have to go through and email all his teachers and let them know. I don't, if he feels better later, I'll try and get him on for his afternoon classes. That way he doesn't miss a whole day. But <clears throat> it's just annoying. You can't, can't call out like normal school. You have to let teachers know and then like the he has speech today, and I already heard back from her, so that's okay, but like, the speech therapist and the occupational therapist don't, like, they're outside services, so they don't get notified by the school if someone's not going to be there. I didn't know that, like, there was one week where I had to call him out um, just for the speech, because, what was it for? It was either for his doctor's appointment or something else, but, uh... I didn't know I didn't know that I had to tell her directly because they don't get notified by the school if somebody's absent um, and I felt bad because she was sitting there waiting and then she she was like are you guys coming on today and I was like no I told the school that he's he's gonna be at, uh, out of speech class today and then the school never answered me back so they should have told me hey you have to tell the speech therapist directly because we don't deal with that pain in the butt. Um, but yeah, I'm all post-nasal drippy today too. It, it's As soon as the heat starts running, it's such a pain in the butt. I've been, um, I have two groups that I follow on Facebook that have like clearance deals and all that and for Black Friday I get a bunch of stuff for super cheap and then I think today's gonna be a good day for that too for Cyber Monday. Oh, that's him running to the bathroom. He's probably gonna throw up again. Okay, he says he feels better after that round of throwing up, but <sighs> now he's he at least wants to watch TV now. He didn't go back to bed, so oh lord. Hopefully he's not like that all day. I would like to have him do his afternoon classes because at least then they can't mark him as a full day absent, you know? Uh, I just wish they weren't such a pain in the butt about um, calling out. Have to. I didn't even bother putting makeup on because I'm not going anywhere and not even doing school stuff now, so I'm gonna have to do all his homework with him later though. They don't post it until after each class is done, so I can't get get ahead on that, which kind of sucks, but... Uh, I have to order empty pallets today because they're having a sale and they don't ever have a sale on that stuff. All this crap I've got to print out. Etsy sales. And... I 
need to get a, an extension cord though because or move this extension cord because okay that's not too annoying and it's a little brighter that looks kind of cool I don't want to keep it on all day during the day because you can't really see it but we turn it on at night and shut the light off in the living room and it it's, looks nice but um yeah I decorated before Thanksgiving this year I don't usually do that the main thing I need to find because I ordered an inflatable the other day I want a couple inflatables but they sold out of the, the Christmas pig one that I wanted for outside so I ordered a snowman one um, because I only paid nine dollars for it on Black Friday on Amazon with that clearance group um, but I need to find a place to hang stockings like a, a stocking holder one of those standalone ones because and my Sally one hanging here off the curtain rod thing or the curtain hook that you put the curtains behind to, to what is it called like the tie back but it's a metal one I don't know um and then the jack one's over there and then I have you can't see them behind me I don't think but uh Eden's and Steven's are hanging off the lamp because the lamp has little hooks on it like that and we never use that lamp anyway but uh <clears throat> I need to find some sort of standalone thing and all the ones that I've found that are like the little stand that go on the floor and they just have hooks on them they all look like rickety and they're super expensive for something that looks very cheaply made so I'm not paying that hey guys today is Tuesday Aiden is fine now by like noontime yesterday he was fine so I think like I thought it was just a uh, a case of him swallowing his uh, post nasal drip all night and it just made him puke in the morning because that has happened before whenever the heat starts going on in the winter time you know it's not technically winter yet but it has been cold here lately and we've been running the heat nonstop. um whenever the heat starts it messes with my nose too so and he never wants to sleep on his actual pillow whenever I go in and check on him he's always sleeping under his pillow like a weirdo so <laughs> It just, his head not being elevated and stuff. He's swallowing his snot all night and it makes him puke in the morning. Um, he's fine today and I get to sleep a little later because he didn't have his morning meeting and ELA today because the teacher is out. He just had ELA work to do that we just finished now. Well, what did I just do? So he doesn't technically start until he has his speech therapist at 10 o'clock and then tomorrow and Thursday I was excited that it was going to be asynchronous days so no live classes because they have like uh, teacher meetings and parent teacher conferences and stuff and I don't know why I wasn't able to make a parent teacher conference uh, appointment because she, like she sent out the link and then when you click the link it doesn't work and she's not getting back to me so it wasn't his the special ed teacher that sent it anyway it was the, the other one which I don't think I'm technically supposed to have a parent teacher conference with her so who knows I don't know what's going on I hate doing parent teacher conferences anyway because it's the same crap every time plus like I'm the one doing all the stuff with him anyways during the day so I know what's going on. It's not like regular school where you go meet the, with the teacher and she tells you all the stuff he's been doing in the class. So I don't know. Um, so I was excited thinking, oh, okay, we don't have to get up super early and do the regular schedule, but no. We still have to do morning meeting both days for the attendance, so still have to get up at regular time tomorrow and Thursday. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to have to, and then it popped up on the schedule today, so oh well. <laughs> <clears throat> Soon enough it'll be Christmas vacation anyway, so have a few more days off. What am I doing? I wanted to use... Of course, I can't see it without my glasses. Uh, I guess I wanted to bust out the new nude palette again because I haven't used this in a while and I was thinking of it the other day. 
Sephora was having 50% off on a bunch of stuff. And I ordered the, I thought I was ordering the Rose Quartz palette. I wasn't paying attention. I was like, oh, it's 50% off already. But it was the Mercury, Mercury and Retrograde palette, which is fine because I thought that one was super pretty too. But like, it doesn't have any of the funky shadows in it that I was interested in in the, uh, the Rose Quartz one, like these crazy ones that they have. I really like those, although they don't apply well with a brush and you kind of have to do it with your fingers, but they're super pretty. This whole palette is super pretty and I love using it constantly until I've got like hardcore into buying every single color palette that color pop palette that comes out. Um, See now my nose is getting super watery. It always gets like this when I just wake up though. It doesn't when I'm in bed it feels super dry. So I don't know what's up with our noses, but it's not like sick, you know, it's just my nose wanting to water and run. Managed to get some more Christmas shopping done yesterday. Um, and Cyber Monday deals and stuff. I thought I was going to get a friggin' Xbox yesterday, and I was getting so excited because I, I've been a Walmart Plus member for a while because you don't have to pay for shipping, and I order from them a lot for like. Uh, bubble wrap and stuff. That's where I get my bubble wrap for my business. Um, and before I had that, it was like you have to spend $35 all the time if you want free shipping or you got to pay $5.99 for shipping. So it was just a better, more cost-effective deal to do the Walmart Plus thing, which is it's like $12.99 a month, I think, something like that. Um, So I was reading, like, if you're a Walmart Plus member, on Mondays at noon, they release more Xboxes, and they, like, put you in online and everything, and then you have 10 minutes to check out once it's in your cart. So I got to that point yesterday at noon, I was super excited because I had, I was on there as soon as it changed over, and it put me in the waiting room, and it said 28 minute wait time. So I wait the 28 minutes. It gets down to one minute wait time and it stays and it stays and it stays. It was just stuck at one minute. And then after like 20 minutes of that, we're sorry, it's all sold out. So why the hell are they even doing that queue thing if you're still not going to get it? I don't, I don't understand. It's so friggin' annoying. I didn't even like get to that point last year when I was trying to get one. So I don't know. Any tips on how the hell to get one would be greatly appreciated, but I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen again this year. Not that he, like, needs it, needs it, but it would be nice to surprise him with one. I like doing surprises for Christmas, and I don't have any good surprise this year because the stupid... The, uh... The gaming computer thing would be more feasible if he didn't want it for this specific game. This, I'm telling you, this game is pissing me off because, like, it's so meaty of a game that it needs all the highest friggin' a giant processor, a giant video card, a giant power supply. Like, who the hell made this game? The game was expensive to begin with, and we already bought the game because we thought that the computer that we were making in the first place was gonna be okay for it. And then my uncle made that computer and the video card wasn't strong enough and you know the rest. We can't get a video card right now <sighs> because that specific video card has been sold out and like when they do have it on eBay and stuff, it's like $900 for a freaking video card and it's not worth that much to begin with. Like the retail on it I think was four something, which is still crazy to me, but like, I do video editing and stuff on my computer, 
and my video card is plenty strong enough for that. But this stupid video game that he's been obsessed with for the past year or so is making it so difficult for me to find something. Because like I, I found plenty of things on Best Buy where you could have a computer built. Um, and that would be so much easier than having to put everything together myself. But none of the, uh, I did find one last night that the video card was enough, but the power supply that comes with it wasn't enough. So like I would have to spend a bunch of money on a, a different power supply and switch it out. And I haven't like told him any of this yet because I don't want him to get his hopes up for the thing I found a computer, so <laughs> I'm not going to mention anything to him, but still, it's just pissing me off. I wanted to do a nice surprise for Christmas, and nothing's going to work out the way I want it to. Pain in the butt. <sighs> Stupid eyeball is already watering. Always the right eye. I don't know why. Like, this eye hates eyeshadow or something, and as soon as I try to start putting makeup on it, it starts watering. Now I don't even know what color it is. It's too bad. I just like this palette because it's very, like, it's neutral without being all browns and golds and stuff. It's neutral but rosy, like a rose gold type color story. I really like this palette. This is one of my favorites. Like if I had to get rid of all but five or six of my palettes, this would be one of the ones that I keep because I use it so much. Um, what else did I want to talk about? I don't know. I've just been aggravated with trying to get Steven something for Christmas because <laughs> he's been such a pain in the butt. I'd be so happy if I could stumble across a an Xbox somewhere, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Like friggin' you can get them on like QVC and HSN, but for some reason they've jacked up the prices too on them. Like that should not be QVC and HSN are reputable companies I thought but they're trying to double the freaking the price of it and that's not right like the freaking retail is high enough $500 for a damn console is usually the norm when they come out and this thing's been out for over a year already so I don't know I mean, all those expensive ones are still in stock, so at least people aren't buying them. I hope they don't sell any of them, and then they'll lower the damn price and realize they're being idiots because no one's going to buy it at $1,000 when it costs 500 Why are you going to pay double the price? Unless you're like some spoiled rich kid <laughs> and you really want it, so your parents are going to get it for you. I just had the mirror backwards. That was, that was funny. I'm going to try again next Monday on Walmart and probably get just as pissed off as I did this week. But never know. I might be able to snag one eventually, even if it's towards the end of the month and he has to wait till after Christmas for it to come. I don't know. If that happens, I'll, I'll make a little gift box and when he opens it up, say, your Xbox is on the way. But... I don't know. I don't have that type of luck. I'm not going to be lucky enough to grab one, I don't think. <laughs> These are the times that I wish I worked at a GameStop or knew someone that worked at GameStop so that they could just freaking snag one for me. But GameStop hasn't even been the, the place that's been uh, restocking them that often. Like, Walmart has been every week. Apparently, from what I'm reading, Target hasn't gotten them that much. I know the the Microsoft website has 
Walmart, Target, GameStop, and Best Buy listed as the the uh, retailers for them. And the only place I've actually seen it pop up in stock for just a split second has been Walmart. So I don't know. The playing games, the being a pain in my ass. Anyway, I'm gonna go get Aiden some breakfast before we have to do speech. Because we woke up late today. Well, I did. He was he was awake at his normal time, I think. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Be careful. What's hot? This one? <laughs> the wrapping paper is hot. I wanted to show you guys the wrapping paper I got so far for Christmas. Because Target was having a sale on them. They probably still, still are on sale. But I ordered these because like, I still have not been going to stores. Um... But I knew these were not going to be enough because this one's only 20 square feet and then these two are only 25. And like these foily kind, they're always way less than what you think they're going to be when you get them. Um, so I ordered these and two other ones. The other ones are longer. Uh, it's like Christmas Dinosaurs and The Grinch. But they didn't come with the same order, so I don't know. That, that seems to be the norm lately, is you order some things from a store and they come in two or three separate boxes. So the other ones are supposed to be coming today. But these ones are dog... This one's at doggies. Hey, can you stop making so much noise? The, these are dogs, and they have glittery Santa hats. I didn't realize when I ordered them that they were glittery, and this is probably going to make a mess everywhere when I wrap presents, but they're super cute. And then this one is just black with candy canes. Would have been cool if the red was, like, foil, but... Oh, I guess it is kind of foily. You can't really tell, but it looks... Okay. I thought that was super cute because I have a black Christmas tree, so the black wrapping paper is going to look nice under it. And then this is just silver foil paper with penguins on it and then like i said i got the dinosaur one i think that one's blue and the grinch one is like a lime green color so, so i just moved this thing in the kitchen and i'm super excited because it saved so much room over near the refrigerator this used to have aiden's paints and like some of his craft supplies in it and i had been meaning to put it all in his room because he has more room now uh for like arts and crafts and stuff and i put it all in one spot so this is just storage stuff for work-related stuff now. <laughs> um, like all the empty eyeshadow tins and compacts and stuff. I don't know why there's wood glue there, <laughs> but um, it's just compacts and packaging stuff and stuff like that. So it was over here. This table is always messy. I can't do anything about that. Um, I moved the trash over here and it was taking up this whole area over here which stuck out to about here, and then whenever I went to open the freezer, I would end up backing up into it, and it was just annoying. So there's way more space in this area now. I just have to, like, organize all the drinks and crap because we have our water there, and then, like, soda and yoo and stuff. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the space over here is so much better. I know I haven't uploaded the the house tour or anything but that was over there before and so was this so it was just taking up way too much room and this now is my little for when I'm getting ready to pack orders Stephen makes a bunch of boxes for me and it just makes it so much easier and then it's just boxes and then my my bubble wrap will go under there I'm waiting for some more to come and then those are the little bubble wrap bags but much more organized in the kitchen than it was before I also just got this guy from Amazon. He's supposed to be five feet tall, so he's going to be as big as our Jack Skellington one that we had for uh, Halloween. You know what? I should have just left the Jack one up for Christmas, too, but I always take it down. Um, but I only paid $8 for this on Black Friday, I think, is when I got it, or when I ordered it. I don't have any Christmas inflatables, so this is the only one I have so far. And I wanted a pig one that I found, and then it sold out before I ordered it, so... I think I saw it on Amazon too, though, because I saw it. Target and Walmart both had it, and they both sold out of it. So I'm going to have to see if I can get it off Amazon. But this one's super cute, at least. I just like to have at least two in the front because we, like, the uh, Halloween ones, we put one on each side of the, the porch thing in the front of the house. So hopefully I can find something else cute. So. 
this has kind of become a tradition every year that we open up our advent calendar every night on the vlog um we have a lego one coming that should be here tomorrow so today is december 1st and aiden wants to start the nightmare before christmas one that we got so i think you can just poke these bud poke number one and we'll see what's in there you might have to push really hard oh you almost got it good keep going this is set up a little better than the, the slime one that we had last year. Oh, slime! It's not slime, it's Nightmare Before Christmas, but we had slime last year, remember? And then you never played with it, so I didn't get another slime one this year. Oh my God, these are always so hard to open. Okay. Can you open the bag and see who's in there? You got your scissors? Yes. I love we're doing this and he has Christmas uh, Halloween PJs on. You can use your scissors to cut it. I just... Oh, yes! you got it? Ooh, it pumpkin. It's Pumpkin Jack. Yeah. Now we do... We gotta wait till tomorrow to do number two, okay? Okay. Let's show it. Okay. Wow, these are smaller than I thought Yay. they were gonna be. We've never had a Funko Pop one before. I know they do them every year. But... This one honestly was more for me than him, but he enjoys opening them every night, so of course I'm going to do it with him. But his Lego one should be here tomorrow. It's the, it's just the Lego City one, and I think it's like a Christmas-related thing every night to build. So you get to open two of the Lego ones tomorrow, as long as it comes tomorrow. Yeah! Yeah! Look, even your socks are Halloween. Show them your socks. Oh, and we hung Christmas lights under his bed, and I keep forgetting to turn them on. My God, my knees are killing me. We just put them, like, as his backdrop, because I wanted to put them all around the top, but I put this here. The, um, why is this all greasy right here? What were you doing? Um, I put this foam here well Steven did that so he wouldn't whack his head because when he first got this bed he kept hitting his head on it um and nothing will stick to that foam so instead of doing it around the perimeter like I planned to do we did it around his backdrop so it lights up when you're on your school calls except for I haven't lit it up in the morning yet because I always forget right right what are you doing clicking in the camera He loves the, the- I get these things for him from Five Below. Let me see it for a sec. It's like those water wiggle things. <laughs> I know they used to have these when I was a kid too. But this is just like made a comeback as a fidget toy now. And he's constantly playing with this thing. Yeah, that's your pedometer. You're supposed to wear that and count your steps every day. Which you, you obviously either you didn't do it today or you reset it because you've only got nine steps on here. <laughs> Oh, well, we can lie and say that you did 10,000 steps today. Every Wednesday, they're supposed to do 10,000 steps. <laughs> what are you playing? Story Maker. Story Maker? What about that Song Maker one you were doing before? Names? Did you like that one? The, the song one? Yeah. I bookmarked it so you can play it again, okay? Okay. Okay, tonight we have to do two from Lego City, because this just came a little while ago, and it's December 2nd now, but Aiden said he wants to do the Nightmare one first, so let's open night number two. Oh, you got it good tonight. They're slightly easier than the slime ones last year. Uh-oh! Slightly easy. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. I just stabbed myself. Okay, take that baggie out and open that one up. See what we got today. Oh no, I'm gonna open! You got it last night. You might need your scissors if you can't get it open. You got it. Who yeah. is it tonight? A oh, it's, painter's! It's zero! zero. Right, hold on. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing else in there, bud. Okay. Let's see zero. We'll put him with... Uh, Pumpkin Jack. Oh, let's show it real close. It's Zero with his little pumpkin nose. It's 
probably a good thing I don't have any of the big Nightmare Before Christmas pop figures. That's why I figured this was a good idea. I can have them in mini form. Okay, let's look at Lego City. This looks like it's going to be cute. It has a little map or a, a mat. <laughs> this one's all mixed up, okay? So you have to find... The, oh, the mat is right here, so we have to build it on here. Let's see if you can find number one. Okay. I see it. Do you see it? Okay, open it up. Let's spin the tick. Spin. <laughs> it's okay. You got it. Yeah! I think it shows a picture right here of what it is. The little snow blower. Okay, don't open them yet because we got to... It shows you right here how to build it. See? That's the directions how to build it. So we got to put this together. And where's number two? Find number two and open that one. We found that one right away. This one is... What is that? Whoa! Like a stoplight or something? What is it? Hold on. Don't open it yet. We're going to put them together and then we'll show everybody. I don't know... Uh, let's see. I'm trying to look at the picture and see what those things are supposed to be. Tickle. Oh, it must be this. It's like a gas station or something, right? Is that what that's supposed to be? <laughs> I don't know what you it's supposed to be. Like train station? Movie. Train station. Okay, because there's a train over there, see? Okay, so we got to put this together, and then we can show everybody. I, I always forget to move this damn light <laughs> when I turn on the camera I realize that this thing is right in the way um today is Friday so it's probably gonna be the end of most of the filming for this week but I'll, I'll keep going with the um the advent calendars yesterday I had to go to the dentist and finally got the the temporary crown put on my my on my mouth on my tooth and I, I, like I said, I've never had a crown before. I did not realize that that was going to be a painful procedure. Well, I mean, it didn't hurt while he was doing it, because he numbed it and everything. But afterwards, my mouth was so sore. It was worse than, like, when I had the root canal to begin with, I was expecting that to hurt and be painful. And that was nothing. Maybe it was because the couple weeks before I was in so much pain every day it was just like nothing afterwards when it was finally fixed I don't know but the crown this is not a pleasant experience and I hope I never have to get this done again on any other tooth it was uh the only thing with this dentist is he doesn't really talk or explain what he's about to do so it's just like oh you're sticking this in my mouth now okay so like I didn't know I had to get numbed for this because I thought they were just making a, uh, like a mold or something, but nope, because he numbed it and then they usually wait for you to get numb, and I didn't know what he was doing this time, so he just numbed it and then immediately started drilling away at stuff, and I was like, well, I hope this isn't going to hurt, because <laughs> he didn't wait for it to set in, to like, take effect, but it was fine, thankfully. Um, so I guess, because he doesn't explain what the hell he's doing, I didn't know what he was really doing in there, but from what I gather, he took off all the stuff that was on there, like, I don't know what it's called, whatever was on there to make it look and feel like a tooth until I was getting the crown put on, drilled all that away, and then... I was kind of trying to feel with my tongue when he was doing other stuff and it just felt like there was a post there so that must have been the thing he put in originally when he did the um what do you call it the root canal and then the worst part was whatever he was putting in there to mold and make a fake looking tooth it smelled, it was so strong. Like, I just had that sensation, like, this should not be in my mouth. It stunk like, like, friggin' the glue they use to make model cars or something. Like, very, very strong.
chemical smell and I was just trying not to breathe through my nose and smell it and it was so strong and it was like burning my tongue and my cheek <sighs> that was the worst part <laughs> so I had to sit like that biting down uh, for like a minute I guess I don't know and then whatever I had bit down on he took it out and he went to like go grind it or something and shape it and then kept leaving the room and coming back and trying to fit it to my mouth and then he cemented it in and that was it I know I bled a lot because they kept having me rinse and I was like bleeding but now the girl at the desk said okay we'll call you in about two weeks and schedule you for the appointment to get the permanent crown put on I'm like, please let this be done before Christmas, but I doubt it will be. If she's just calling me to make the appointment, I'm sure it'll be like January or something. I just want this over with. I'm so sick of this stupid tooth. I should have just had it pulled. You go through all this crap. <clears throat> I keep saying it. I still would rather just yank all my teeth and have fake ones because I'm so sick of this. I have the worst friggin' issues with my teeth. It's so annoying. I am surprised though that I hadn't been to the dentist in so long because I didn't have dental insurance and stuff. And I only had three cavities. I'm surprised at that because I know when when I was younger and I didn't go for a very long time I had nine cavities that first time I went back and that was when I went to the lady that was friggin just making a mess of my mouth apparently because this guy had to fix everything she did practically all the fillings I had from her were ones that had issues they either broke chipped completely fell out I don't know what she did. I know I complain about her a lot, but like I have... She made me not want to go to the dentist anymore because I was scared to go every time. She hurt me. Oh, and you know how like Facebook memories pop up on your timeline? I had one the other day that was from years ago when I was complaining about her. And I had completely forgot about this because I guess I blocked it out of my mind. She had, she was going to put her gloves on and she already had me laying back in the chair and she like slipped and punched me in the forehead, putting her gloves on. I totally forgot about that one. It wasn't even related to my teeth, but she punched me in the forehead. So I had that going on too. I just, I don't know how her practice is still in business. I really don't because I can't be the only one that had bad experiences there. I don't know what was up with that. That was when my mom was still alive and I remember her asking me, <laughs> like, why don't you find another dentist? Because she was the only one in the area that took my insurance. And we, that was when I was working at Rite Aid and I had, I don't know, Rite Aid changed insurances so many times. I don't know what I had at that time. But it wasn't as good as when I had... Aetna. Aetna insurance was the best at the time. I don't know if it still is anymore, but of all the insurance companies that Rite Aid went through, Aetna was the best one that, that we had because it covered so much. I don't think that was even uh, dental coverage, though. I think that was just for medical. And then we had something else for dental. But... Record it. Night three. Wow! I know, these are a pain in the butt. Yeah. They hurt my finger every time I go in there. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. He's been good at opening them every night. Wow, a princess! A princess? I mean... It's the mayor. Mayor, I mean. <laughs> Let me see. Let's show it's it. Sticky. Maybe he saw the uh, the head and thought it was a dress. Yeah. He's even double-sided. That's cool. Dad can go put it downstairs with where with I've the been keeping the rest of them. 
Okay. And then... Does it rotate? It doesn't. Probably not. Okay, come over here, because we have this one set up. So you have to open up day three on this one. Where's three? This one you have to find, because they're not in order. Oh, hold on. In, 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 in. You're not supposed to lift it up. <laughs> Supposed to leave it. Come on, put it back. Look. You have to go over there. No. Where's three? Yeah. Can you push it in from there? See, because this is supposed to stay on here. Did you just push that in? Stop doing that. Okay. Okay, pull it out. I don't know what that is. Yeah. What is it? Whatever you that just, is. You pulled it out and said, "Yeah, you gotta look at it." <laughs> Look at the picture. Lego. Look at the picture. I can't even tell what it is. It's like it's like a candy cane. Uh, candy cane. No, it's like, like I'm guessing it's supposed to be a lamp post type thing, because this is a lantern on the top, and then there's a little piece of mail, so like a mailbox lantern type thing. Okay, tonight is what night? What number do we have to do? Four. So let's see who we get in the Nightmare Before Christmas one. <laughs> it's so hard to pick up. Here. It's stuck. Yeah, just put it in and squeeze it. There you go. I like that they come in bags so you can't see it right away. You got it. Four people. Come on, you did all the other three yourself. See if you can open it. Open it the same way you did the other bags. Almost. Yeah? I mean, help. Okay. <laughs> Can you get your scissors? Maybe we need to cut it. I think I see green. Maybe it's Oogie Boogie. Four people! Here, go. Here cut it. Sit down. Hey, four people. Cut it. God, you're holding them the wrong way again. Yeah! Heartation! Heartation! Is it Oogie? It's Oogie! It's Oogie! Four My people! My finger is stained from swatching eyeshadows. Four people. But it's Oogie. Four? I, I was waiting for Oogie. Yeah, Mom's finger is stained, bud. <laughs> okay, now we gotta do Lego. We've got, oh, hey, the thing got kicked, dude. Four aid. people! Okay, find the number four on here. Do you see it? Job getting in a maze. There we go. That's how you open. And I learned that you can just hey, rip this off people. How do I? to get the instructions on how to build it. I think it's a, it's a piece of the train. I think so. We'll build that. 